Our next speaker will be delivering the endnote speech on the importance of Nahj al Balagha. Sheikh Sayyid Muhammad al Musawi is the chairman of the World Ahlul Bayt Islamic League, more commonly referred to as Wabil. Wabil is a worldwide organization of ulama, thinkers, and intellectuals. It is an umbrella under which several religious, educational, social, and charitable institutions function to serve the Muslim world in general and the followers of Ahlul Bayt. Sayyid is also renowned for his active involvement in spreading the message of the Ahlul Bayt in the media. If I can request you all to please welcome Sayyid Muhammad al Musawi with a loud Nara Salam. Assalamu alaikum Nothing better to start with than thanking Allah. Because Amir al Mu'minin said, Alhamdulillah, Alladhi ja'al alhamd miftahan li dhikrah. Praise to Allah. Praise be to Allah who made praising Him the key of remembering Him. وَبَابًا لِلْمَزِيدِ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ And who made praising him the gate for getting more of his bounties. I praise Allah as he is entitled and we are of course unable to praise him as he is entitled. I'm very glad to see this gathering in Peterborough about Nahjul Balagha. And of course I start with a salutation the best servants of God, Muhammad and his holy progeny, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhim ajma'in. The subject of this international conference is a very important one. Nahjul Balagha is a text which is after many, many books written on it and many researches and papers, yet it is unknown to a majority of people. Nahj al had shuruh, sharh. We have got a list of more than 40 sharhs of Nahj al Of course, one of them, the sharh of Ibn Abi al-Hadid. Yet, most of people don't know what is Nahjul Balagha. Some people think that Balagha is a book compiled or written by Hazrat Ali, السلام, which is not the truth. Nahjul Balagha was compiled by a scholar who was a Sharif al-Radhi, who was born in the fourth Hijri century and passed away in the beginning of fifth Hijri century in year 406. And he compiled Nahjul Balagha on the year 400 after Hijrah. He compiled it from where? From whatever he could reach to. From the books which contained the sayings, the letters and sermons of Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib salam. Which means that Nahj al was not the first book being compiled having the sayings of Imam Ali. Because Sharif al Radhi, in the beginning of his book, he stated that he has collected these parts that he has collected from whatever he could reach to. Number one. 
Number two, we have got all the evidences that the contents of Nahjul Balagha were already mentioned in previous books compiled in the previous centuries before 400 after Hijra. This is also an important point because Nahjul Balagha was being attacked by the enemies of Imam Ali. And you know, today's so-called Wahhabis claim that Nahjul Balagha is not the sayings of Imam Ali, but it was being fabricated and given his name. This allegation on Nahjul Balagha is not new. The first who put the allegation on Nahjul Balagha was an Amawi person by the name of Ibn Khallikan. <coughs> Ibn Khallikan, he himself writes that I love Yazid bin Muawiyah a love which has taken all my heart and I have collected all the poetries of Yazid bin Muawiyah and I memorized all of them. Ibn Khallikan of this character is the first who created doubt about Nahjul Balala. And if you read what he has written, you will see how he is an unstable person. He writes that people claim that Nahjul Balagha is the sayings and letters and sermons of Imam Ali. And we don't know whether all of it is from Imam Ali or part of it from a Sharif al murtala Just imagine, Murtala is not Radhi, you know. There yeah, are two brothers, two scholars. One is a Sharif al Radhi, and his brother is a Sharif al murtala So Ibn Khilikan is mixing between a Sharif al Radhi and a Sharif al murtala number one. And he says, we don't know whether part of it is being made by a Sharif al murtada or whom. From that sentence of doubt, all the enemies of Imam Ali took the initiative to attack on Nahjul Balala. I want to add that Ibn Khilikan is being say, mentioned in the books after him, I advise our scholars to go to what As-Safadi has written about Ibn Khallikan and how Ibn Khallikan died. This place is more noble than I mention about Ibn Khallikan more than this. Ibn Khallikan is an enemy of Ahlul Bayt, enemy of Imam Ali, lover of Yazid bin Muawiyah, and go on. Today, the followers of Yazid bin Muawiyah are saying the same, that it is doubtful. Right from the beginning, after Ibn Khallikan, Ibn Abul Hadid, who was a non-Shia scholar, not as many people think wrongly that he was a Shia. No, he was not a Shia. Because he starts his book, Alhamdulillah alladhi qaddam al mafdul ala al fawil means praise to God who made the less before the better. Means Allah made the first caliph, according to Ibn Abi al-Hadid, the first caliph 
who is less than Imam Ali, he made him the first caliph. And Imam Ali being the best, Allah made him later on. That is not our faith. Our faith that the first is the first. The best is the first. So that gives his identity. Ibn, Khal Ibn Abu al-Hadid, he replies those who created doubt about Nahj al-Balagha. And he says that anyone who reads Nahj al-Balagha will easily discover أنه يجري على ماء واحد means all Nahj al-Balagha from A to Z goes like same current of water. It is, which is, gives the evidence that it has come from one tongue. Who has got that power which can make him bring like Nahj al-Balagha? Okay. Did you have in the history of Muslims any scholar First caliph, second caliph, third caliph, or any scholar who has left such sermons, such letters, such sayings, like Najib Balata? If yes, please come ahead. Our argument is this that creating doubt about the authenticity of Nahj al-Balagha is like creating doubt about the authenticity of Quran. Though Quran is Quran, the word of God, and Nahj al-Balagha is not more than few collections, not all, of the sayings of the best servant of God after the Prophet. But when people who are enemies of Imam Ali come and create doubt, that will not make Nahj al-Balagha down, as the enemies of Quran are till today creating, some of them, of course, till today, creating doubt about the authenticity of Quran. Till today, you find people who say Quran is not from God. It was being compiled by Muhammad, or it was being taught to him by someone else, and all, all what we hear and we, what we read sometimes. So that will not harm the authenticity of Quran for those who have got senses. And Nahj al Balagha is also at the same level of authenticity. As far as the truth mentioned, in Nahj al-Balagha. Nahj al-Balagha is the word of a servant of God, of course the best servant of God after the Prophet, the last Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his holy progeny. And it has got many important points which makes it a unique book. Number one, Nahj al has got, from the title of it, the eloquence. In Arabic, we call it Balagha. Balagha means eloquence. You know, in fiqh, we say that the sources of all the rules are four. Quran, Sunnah, Aql, Ijma. Those scholars in the Arabic literature say that four sources for every scholar in Arabic are Quran, Nahjib Laga, Bayan and Tabin, and Al Kamil. These four. So it is a miracle in eloquence. Also, it is a miracle in its comprehensiveness. It covers life from different dimensions. And as you know, that the personality of Imam Ali 
is itself a miracle. Because the history did not show us, did not give us any information about a man who was top in every dimension. We find people who are top in, say, eloquence, but not top in worshiping God. We are top in bravery, but not top in management. Imam Ali is a top in every tribute in life. As Safiuddin Hilli said, Jumi'at fi sifatikal azdadu, walihada azzat lakal andadu. Oh Ali, in your personality, the top of every goodness being gathered. And for that, no one can be like you after the Prophet, of course. In Nahjulaga, you find him telling people about knowing Allah to understand life. Because we will not understand life without understanding the creator of life. We will not understand the aim of life if we don't know why life was created by the creator. And he tells us how to live in this life and keep the aim of this life alive always. And when he talks about management of the society in his letter to Malik al-Ashtar, you will find the best directions ever being witnessed by any Muslim leader. And for that, when the Muslim or so-called Muslim world is trying to ignore Nahjul Balagha, the United Nations in 2002 issued a statement advising the rulers of all Muslim countries to learn from the teachings of the great leader in the Muslim history, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib. I don't have much time. I have to go back to London, as you know, for another commitment. I would like to brief. Number one, this conference is a very good step, which I hope it can go ahead with practical steps. I would like to suggest on the organizers to have such conferences at least once a year, inviting scholars and intellectuals and people who are seeking the truth to know more about Najil Balagha. Number two, I would like to suggest to try to produce high professional TV programs about Nahjul Balagha, which can be given to the TV stations, then the mass and the masses can know what is Nahjul Balagha. Such TV programs, well produced, will help thousands, because this whole will not take thousands, but if you convey the message through good programs, that will help much more people. Next, I would like you to invite leaders of different faces, as you have done today. I have heard the nice speech from the respected and honored priest from the Anglican Church, call from different faiths, non-Shias, non-Muslims, because Nahjul Balagha can be a very good base and foundation of harmony in the human society. Because he said that every human being, as Imam Ali said, every human being is either your brother in faith or your partner in humanity. Thank you very much. May Allah bless you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim ve bihi nasta'in ve huve khairul mu'in. Ve sallallahu ala seyyidil anbiya ve'l mursalin ve ala alihi tayyibin ve tahirin ve'l ma'asumin. I am here only to say one word to you. But before this, I want to say same words to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who gave uh, tawfiq to Islamic thoughts group to have uh, that type of conference and uh, talk about Nahdul Blawa. This is really thanks to Allah. And then, definitely, I want thanks one by one of these scholars. They accept our request, take a time from their busy schedule, and came here. And uh, from all around the world, about uh, from different seven countries, 26 scholars, they wrote their uh, papers and lots of uh, them you saw in uh, this booklet. Brothers and sisters, as uh, many scholars, they said, the words of Imam Muslims are Muslim till now. Lots of time we ask uh, help from Imam Ali and uh, as our lady speaker she finished uh, her uh, speech and uh, presentation of her paper with uh, Ya Ali Madad. Yes, in Nahdul Bilal, Imam Ali says again and again that I need your help. So how we can help to our uh, Imam? The best way is I mostly quote to my teacher Atullah al-Uzma, Fadil al-Ankran, is uh, saying, he says that if you want to know who is Ali, read the Nahdul Bala, and his words are, the brightness of uh, high personality of Imam is visible within his words. I don't want to say too much. I will request from uh, all audience, my brothers and sisters, that if uh, from today, if we can uh, memorize or we can write only two words from Nahdul Blah. One is here on the right side of mine. This is uh, Adalat and Justice of Imam Ali. If you want to spread these words, then books like uh, the Voice of Human Justice of George Jordak in five vol uh, volume it can come out. And other saying of Imam is written here that how we need to live in this world in our family, in our community, in our society, in our country, in our world. So if we go through these things, we can change ourselves, we can change our community, we can change our world because Amir al Mu'minin is Imam of world, not Imam of few people. Anyway, if I will start to talking about Nahjul Blaga, then it will be too long. <laughs> but as uh, Sayyid Muhammad Muswi, because he was the main person who was between uh, Islamic thought and George Urdak, he said now that uh, I had the word with uh, George Urdak. And he said a very apology, and he said the doctor are not allowing me to interview also and record this. So he said salam to all of these uh, audience. So brothers and sisters, thank you very much for coming here. And I was not uh, thinking that you will stay that long, alhamdulillah. <laughs> this is again one sign of love that yes, we love with Imam Ali alayhi salam. May Allah increase uh, your love with the uh, Imam 
I am leaving all these uh, quotes uh, because uh, Imam Ali al-Islam in the seeing number 147 when he was talking to, Mar uh, to Kumail ibn Ziyad and uh, he was pointing out uh, with his finger toward his uh, chest and he was saying look this is from seeing number 147 look here is a heap of knowledge I wish I could get someone to bear it. Huh? Imam is looking toward, and then when he is uh, saying in uh, uh, Sermon 87 and 91, that ask me, ask me before you miss me. So as one scholar, he mentioned that yes, if Imam is not between us, his words are between us, so we can ask what we want through his word that Mullah what uh, is the solution of these problems? Our world is in problem. Our world is in darkness. What is the uh, remedy of this, uh, these problems? And what is uh, light for these uh, darknesses? So, thank you very much for all of you. And inshallah, through these, uh, uh, I have a long list to uh, say thanks, but uh, very briefly, I want to say thanks to those uh, brothers and those youth, especially at around eight to nine months, they spend uh, day and night for this conference. And uh, because we first came here to see this place in March, uh, and from uh, beginning of this, uh, before we decided what is a uh, uh, where we will do this conference, uh, and uh, this was in March. So about uh, nearly this nine month, uh, we are in the Islamic thought. I am not doing anything. These youth are doing, uh, and uh, Alhamdulillah, they said to me that come here, so I am here, and they give me only five minutes. I don't know, I uh, pass or not. Okay, so uh, inshallah. Our other uh, Islamic thoughts aim is that those scholars, uh, they are working hard uh, about Najul Bilaga, about seeing of Imam Ali, as uh, we have scholars like here from Alhamdulillah, we had uh, from Christian, from, we have from Sunni brothers, we have uh, all uh, type of scholars. Uh, our target is, uh, Islamic thought is looking that uh, those scholars, they done uh, their work uh, and this, uh, we must uh, uh, inform the community about their work. For example, uh, there is address of uh, two PhDs uh, uh, done uh, on Nahjul Blaga. One by Sayyid Waris Hussain, uh, Waris Hassan. He was from Lucknow and uh, his uh, PhD and all detail is, uh, uh, you can see on book sh uh, shop outside. Other was, uh, and he is live, Sayyid Waris Hassan passed away. Other is uh, from uh, Dr. Uh, Riza Nazhari. Uh, and uh, he is uh, now, we try to print these books, but uh, British Library haven't uh, allowed us to print uh, and publish these uh, theses. So our target is that uh, those people, those brothers and sisters, they done uh, work on this, uh, we spread uh, and we uh, tell to our community that yes, these scholars uh, done these uh, things. I want to thank to all of these uh, youth, uh, to our uh, Islamic Thought trustees, uh, they uh, uh, done these uh, very good uh, jobs. I want thanks to this TV station there, TV, uh, um, uh, they came from uh, morning and till now they are uh, with us, Ahlul Bayt, Ahl Bayt, Hidayat Channel, and uh, even Evening uh, Telegraph uh, and some other. Also, I want thanks to uh, Marriott Hotel. They gave us these uh, all the facilities. I want thanks to our uh, catcher. They came from Birmingham and provide. Uh, I hope that uh, this was a uh, good food. And I want thanks to all uh, publishers and all organizations. Uh, they brought their books uh, and they have an uh, exhibition uh, outside, uh, like a World Federation, Hui Foundation, Islamic College. And uh, Sayyid Muhammad Taki, he uh, is uh, uh, working in Islamic College. He was uh, asking a time, but you know about time. So he have a leaflet outside. Uh, and I hope that you will take these leaflet outside about Islamic College, uh, London, uh, what uh, it is uh, doing. So inshallah, you will uh, be uh, informed about this. Uh, I want uh, uh, thanks all uh, volunteers. Uh, they came uh, and when I came morning, uh, they were there here. And I hope that uh, everything will be okay with uh, them. 
So again, thank you all of you. And uh, I hope from youth, uh, especially uh, came from uh, far or from near. As Sayyid Muhammad Muswi said, this uh, must not be our first step. This must be, I was um, uh, thinking that uh, we want to make, um, lots of people, they are making a Hajj group these days. We want to make a group of Najul Bulaga and we want to take to you. Where I want to take to you, Ayatollah Komshayi, who translate first time Najul Bulaga in our uh, very old uh, uh, translation of Najul Bulaga from Arabic to Persian. He said that I want to go to Jannat. Why? I want to study the Najul Bulaga from Ali ibn Abi Talib. Uh -huh. So, inshallah, lots of things uh, we will be in contact. And uh, our uh, second uh, um, uh, target is, inshallah, that uh, as soon as uh, we will print uh, these uh, articles, these papers, uh, these scholars wrote for us, uh, and uh, inshallah, a good book uh, in one or two volumes, it will be for you. We will be in touch and we will pass you this book. So uh, thank you at the end again. And uh, remember in your duas, uh, and remember especially, may Allah accept uh, all of uh, our uh, actions, so especially what we are uh, working uh, for uh, Ahdul Bulaga and words of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.